So ahead of the East Portland by-election, the Electoral Commission of Jamaica issued a reminder that candidates for parliamentary elections are now required to declare the source of their funding. So we've invited a couple of folks from the ECJ to expound on that. Director of Legal Affairs, Colleen Wallen, and Registrar of Political Parties, Lafron Thompson. <laughs> Lafron, I'm going to start with you because I never even know there was a registrar of political, of political parties. parties. What does that mean? What do you do? Well, the registrar is the officer who is in charge of the registration of political parties mm. and also the person designated to give monitor of election campaign financing, the reporting of such by political parties and the outline of spending within an election. Okay. Okay, why does the ECJ require candidates to declare their funding sources? Ladies? Well, the Representation of the People Act, Amendment Act of 2016, makes it mandatory that election campaign expenses be reported. It is that the law intends to give regulation to campaign financing and also to monitor what are the sources of funding going into election campaigns. Mm -hmm. Another benefit too is that it really creates transparency and it gives members of the society view or see of those persons who are influencers of the democratic process. All right. Okay. Now this will be the first time in Jamaica that the candidates would have to, and ahead of the by-election now, um, the by-election is when? April 4. Mm -hmm. uh, let's look at this. Have the parties declared their, their source of funding as yet? Legal officer? Before we get to the declaration, there yes. are several steps that must be complied. Yes, mm -hmm. share that with so us. So it is important for us to understand what contributes or what is a contribution. Mm. Now that is any gift, loans, or any benefit that can be computed in terms of money mm -hmm. that is given to a political party or a candidate mm -hmm. for the purposes of carrying out their political activities or for the election of a candidate. So if me give him a dozen Eight. chicken to go chicken. give away, or me give Miss Vaz a dozen goat. It is a contribution. It's a contribution, all right. Okay, and the What's maximum mm -hmm. contribution. That's what I was gonna ask. Yeah. <laughs> for a candidate per contributor is $1.5 million, and for the p political party, it's $31.5 million. Tw how much? $31.5 million. Per person? Per person. Oh, so you can give to the party $30 million. Meaning, I'm, I'm saying, what, what do you mean? Clarify, clarify. Yeah, you clarify. may give to the party $31.5 million in total. Right. However, if you should be funding a candidate, right, as one. well as a party, you should not exceed $31.5 million. million. Because they have a budget, so each candidate is allowed up to $15 million to spend on campaign. Really? Yes, and the political party has up to $630 million. Why, why put a cap on it? If, 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 oh, so it's fair, I guess, across all... I mean, who decides on these figures? It's in law. It's the law. It's possible. I guess it's to um, ensure that there's, there's equity, equity and also yeah. that we don't get crazy and spend off all this money campaigning and then when Perhaps, the election yes. done, lose, none no. left to the people. <laughs> <laughs> when the election done, you lose. Yeah. money gone down the drain. No. Who um, can make, sorry, sorry, my love, yeah. who can make a contribution? Are there mm -hmm. limits as to who and who are, right. you know, yeah. there are. Persons who may contribute are private individuals, companies, entities, or persons of the, within the Jamaican diaspora group. A political party may also fund its candidate. Mm. Uh, there is a standard of impermissible contributors, and this will include any foreign government, the agent of a foreign government, a public body, or any entity who wishes to be undisclosed, or if their activities are illegal, they are not allowed to make contributions to the campaign process. No, and there are government entities as right. well. The government public entities bodies. can't. No, public no. bodies can't. Okay. However, we see um, in the current um, um, campaigning of the two parties for East Portland, you see Damien Crawford has a crowdfunding. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, where does the law sit with public campaigning on a platform like that? Because you're getting sources... I mean, did you have to declare, for example, I'm just putting it out there as a shareholder, right. you know, holding, um, holding this conversation right now. One, no, 
can you take the money on crowdfunding or do you have to now declare who contributed on that platform, for uh, example, if he doesn't for transparency? Get, if he doesn't get more than uh, $250,000 from a contributor... Jamaican? Then, yeah. Okay. There's no need for a declaration. Okay. So okay. there is a cap. Okay. So any contributor who makes $250,000 or more... They That's are required they to make a okay. declaration. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. How is the declaration well, done? Yeah. Declarations are done within prescribed forms, and these are listed to the ECJ's website. Uh, in fulfilling the requirements under the law, the candidate is responsible for submitting these declarations within six weeks of an election, and declarations are to be supplemented with the vouchers or receipts that he would have gained from contributors. He or who, she. He or she, it. yes. You know, equity. <laughs> he or she gained from contributors <laughs> of value $10,000 or more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, where a contributor does not provide a voucher or an invoice, then a candidate is expected to issue a statement of receipt for right. any value that he would have gained during a campaign period. Okay. For contributions of 250000 or more, what is to be issued is a receipt of contribution. And this is mm. Form 5 within the different forms that are listed. Mm. Form 6, rather, that is supposed to be submitted to the commission. Hold on, slow down, register. How many forms are there? There are many forms. People out there have to be so many times to sit down and sit. Well, how many? You, you read six. How many are we going to? <laughs> Altogether in the regulations, yes. there are 10 forms. Wow. Okay. 10 forms. Uh, and a candidate will have a number of forms within which they have to fulfill their obligations under the law. What's the time frame? So the election is April 4. Do I have to declare a week, a month, two days? When six weeks. Six weeks but before? Six week, there's no, no, six, six weeks, weeks after oh, the that, election. Oh, after the election yeah. you declare? You have the campaign period, right. which starts on the day when the Prime Minister makes the announcement, right. and it ends 24 hours before the calling of the election. Mm -hmm. The reporting period starts also on the day when the announcement is made for mm -hmm. the election mm -hmm. and continues up to 181 days after. Then suppose after me when you find a problem with the money, you what can't take back receipt. Well, <laughs> after you've won, well, it is subject to scrutiny, okay. and then you will have to come before the commission right. and make a declaration. But you can't take back the seat. I think at this point, not the too, seat. I just say, I just say, <laughs> if you find like, okay, so okay, we have to answer. We but there are the penalties ah. where breaches have occurred. Have, yeah. Mm -hmm. So for non-disclosure, you can be fined up to a million dollars. Mm -hmm. Where it is that someone has made a false declaration, they can be fined up to three million dollars okay. on summer conviction in the RM court. Mm -hmm. And in default of making that payment, a prison time not exceeding 12 months. So right. there are consequences. But you don't take back the seat. No. <laughs> well, I can't remember. A candidate who is expected to make a declaration that contributions are permissible. Mm -hmm, and okay. if it is that he would have done so falsely, then he would have contravened the law and then he would be subject, subject to, to conviction. No anonymous donations. Yes. You need to know where your money is coming from. All right, candidates. Now, next question, ladies. Campaigning in, within this law, when does campaigning start? And, and, and So you can campaign for years before can you? No, the, I mean, pe the act is specific. Campaign yeah. period starts on the day for the purposes of a by-election. On the day when the PM makes the announcement and it expires 24 hours before the opening. I think what period. Empress is what saying is that I could, so I could, in my mind, say so I'm going to run for Member of Parliament for mm -hmm. Television Jamaica mm -hmm. next year. And that's your girlfriend? But me start from now <laughs> and I start meeting people and as a so, right. so, so technically, campaigning has started, but are you saying under this law, I don't need to declare until six until, until, until yeah. there has been an official, official declaration. Until the official That's why I'm going it home. It is for, a you know, the Festival Queen, Saint Catherine. You should run, you know. You should run one day for MP. So me, me, me. <laughs> I understand the law, but but I think some there are some adjustments need to be made. Like what? Be because if I, if I know that I can campaign ahead of the actual time, then I go and take the bulk of the money that I go and get from people and start campaigning uh, in the pre-campaign. Mm -hmm. But what does campaigning mean? This is my thing. So I decide that I, I'm going to work in a community, right? Like what me do. 
in a Jamaica. What you do? We go place, we are work, and campaign. You might even wear your green and orange geared shirt. Geared towards election activities. Right. So they're right? saying time. So within so a period it's when the official of election it's time starts. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that what you're saying? Right. Yeah. But yeah. I don't so know what, saying, what you're saying is. I'm what, saying that outside of the official time. That you can spend all this I money I have been before, in there for two years spending money towards becoming MP. Right. I should also it be no made call. to. No, to, to, no, uh, to, it can't. Because you can't say. So me I spend my money in a, my constituency where me live. But what for where me want, your money you where spend me want work. It don't matter because campaign, the, the, the election hasn't been called. No, but it's a loophole if me smart. Me but every law has loophole. That's why you have lawyer. But I spend it most of my money. Every law has loophole. But I say, if you not give me the money, give me before the by-election time. Where you running, spend the money before. Where you running? Oh, they know our party. <laughs> <laughs> they know our party, yeah, and you know where she's running. Look for Delia in the next yeah, election. Man, yeah, man, we know, we know it. I'm putting said. it out there. <laughs> <laughs> me, me run for TVJ. The ladies. Electoral Commission ladies must say, so what is pandem for this? I know, <laughs> this is No, now. but ladies, you were very, uh, thank you very much because yeah. you clarified some, Definitely. some things that were necessary mm -hmm. and also necessary for contributors to know mm -hmm. right. that yeah. when they're giving, um, these are the things that are in place to protect them. Which is very important. Mm. Anything else you want to say before you go? Uh, contributors, uh, where they may, they need to declare contributions in excess of two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, and also where they hold contracts for up to a period of two years prior to making a contribution, they will have to disclose such to the co to the commission. If the contract and if is five after 000. making a contribution, they gain a contract up to two years. After. after and that is valued at five hundred thousand or more, then Speak. they must disclose it Amen. to the commission. I agree well, with there you. There you go. I so if you. I give Delia um, two hundred and fifty thousand, and then me I go hire you and give you back a million. Well, you know, you know links. Link <laughs> 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 it. Uh, what I'm. What <laughs> Does the public have to know, is there any kind of privacy? Because, for example, a lot of, it, looking at the political um, atmosphere in Jamaica, mm. so I may not want anybody to know that I actually gave daily the 250, the mm. public. Mm -hmm. I don't mind you knowing, EO Electoral, right. Electoral Commission of Jamaica may know. I uh -huh. don't have a problem with that. But what if I don't want, because of the political atmosphere. I don't want Aaron know. Well, I don't, yes, I don't the commission want... has a responsibility to disclose all contributions above uh -huh. $1 million. Oh, above a million. Yes. So my two fifty, dollars look, 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 money there. The one one. The, unless it, unless it further comes into disrepute. Right. Yes. The, the public doesn't have to know that two fifty came from me. Currently, because set, the law does set, not you set stipulate people up. with regard so. to $250,000, but it specifies above one million dollars, then the commission will have so to So I'm only giving such. you nine hundred and ninety nine thousand mm -hmm. nine hundred and ninety nine dollars. Okay, ma'am. <laughs> yes, yes, you have break rules. <laughs> <laughs> Well, she Le would still be compliant. Yes, yes, I'm very compliant. Oh, yes. Ladies, thank, thank you for you. sharing that. Um, we do need to have more of these conversations. Yes, I hope that certainly. you have some money from our taxes to put out some PSAs to let the public understand how it works because we need more education we do. We do. on the political process. Oh, definitely. Thank Wonderful. you. Wonderful. Right. So we'll see you in East Portland, April 4. Will you be there? The commission. Yes, the commission will be there. <laughs> All righty. From the Electoral Commission of Jamaica, Director of Legal Affairs, Colleen Wallen, and Registrar of Political Parties, LaFron Thompson. All right. How is coconut harvesting being made easier? We're going to talk technology after the break.